Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cami, and this is Cami's Closet. Before I go any further, I want to welcome you. If you're new, I would really appreciate if you would hit the subscribe button below. The last time I checked this morning, I was at 925 subscribers. I'd love to hit a thousand, do another giveaway and just, you know, grow my channel. That's kind of the point, not the full point, but part of the excitement of YouTube is growing your channel, getting subs, that kind of thing. Um, in any case, I have an unboxing, well, it's kind of an unbagging, and today is, what is today? Today is Thursday. I'm doing this for Sunday. So when you see this, it'll be Sunday, and hopefully you will come back next week because I will have another unboxing. But if you were here yesterday, you saw the collab that was done by me, um, Winnie, Yoda, Dawn, and Eva. It was our New York City, Manhattan collab. So I hope you caught that yesterday. If not, go and check that out. Please subscribe to all our channels, watch all the videos. It's, it's a lot of fun. Anyway, so if you've been following me, you know that um, I just recently did an unboxing for a Christian Louboutin, Louboutin, uh, Karaski oversized cosmetic case and I really liked it, but I sent it back. I got everyone's opinion. That's not why I sent it back. I just wanted, um, she's, gonna, she's gonna pee under the table. There she goes. Just give me a minute, guys, I'll be back. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I'm back. If you've been following me, you know that I have a mini poodle named Coco, who just recently had her eyes removed. She's blind. And she's having a lot of trouble finding her wee wee pad. Any suggestions on that would be very, very welcomed. So anyway, I just wanted to stop because she started circling under the table, kind of gave me the idea that she was about to pee. <laughs> so anyway, um, I don't remember where I was. And if you're new to my channel, I will tell you that I don't edit. So if I forgot where I was, you might not see me continue where I left off because I just don't edit. I only know how to pause and come back. That's all. Anyway, so go check out um, the collab and my other video with the Louboutin um, cosmetic case that was about $700 and I got it on sale. It was half price, but I wasn't really crazy about it. It wasn't that I wasn't crazy about how it looked. It wasn't going to be functional. It was the, the, the detailing studs were so big. I was afraid that they were going to get all scratched or they were going to scratch something inside a bag and I bought it to use inside another bag. So anyway, I did send that one back. I got this in its place for a fraction. When I say a fraction, I mean a fraction. <laughs> um, let's open it and see what it is. I didn't, hopefully I could rip it open because I did not. I did not bring my, my scissor. Or, thank you, Scissor Man. Um, anyway. <laughs> oh. This shit that just fell out of this just choked me worse than the smog that's here in New York. If anybody lives in the tri-state area or anywhere in this vicinity, you will know that we just got, like, infested with smog and smoke from Canada's um, acres, acres, like 600 acres of brush fire. And um, and it's been very difficult to breathe. My eyes have been burning me the last two days. Um, it got a little better today than it was yesterday, but they're still saying it's hazardous to your health. Um, Maria Louise loves luxury. If you're watching this, I hope you're okay. I'm assuming if you're watching this, you are okay. I don't know how close you are to what's going on over there, um, but give us a shout out so we know you're good. Um, I will link her channel down below also because she does fabulous um, videos. Anyway, back to this. Okay, so I wanted a cosmetic bag and I like dome-shaped cosmetic bags. And that was part of why I was very attracted to the Louboutin. Um, but then I saw this and I said, 
The Louboutin was about 350, half price, and this was um, on sale at the Coach Outlet for $35. <laughs> That's a huge difference. And you know, I, I was thinking of keeping the, the Louboutin so I could do a comparison, but I was afraid I was gonna go too close to the expiration of the return window, and I didn't wanna take that chance, so I sent it back. But that's why you can go see that video. I will link it down below. So let's see what I got here that's similar to the Christian Louboutin that's $35 instead of $350. Actually, it was a little more, and it came to a little over $400 with tax. This was $35 and came to, I don't know, eight times five, I don't know, like, like 39 or something like that. So let's let's check this out. Same style, about the same size, same everything for $35. And it's coach, so you know it's it's good quality. Um, zipper, very smooth. Gold hardware, here's the front, here's the bottom, the sides. You an up close, it is stuffed as usual. This might be a little bit smaller than the Christian Louboutin. Little bit, not much, like a half an inch maybe in each one direction. Oh, this does have, it has a little slip pocket. Here are the cards. I wonder what the original, wait a minute, let me get my glasses. See if they have the actual name of this. I don't know if it's still available. You would have to check the site. This original price, look at that, even with reading glasses, I can't see crap. 150, this original was 150. You know, it's hard to, you know, coach at one time back in the day when I had first got my first coach bag, it was a patchwork bag, it was like close to 400, and that was like an it bag. And if you sported that back, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, you, you know, that was like a huge deal. It was a huge deal for me. And now it seems like coach is very accessible. I don't know if it's, I don't know. I don't know why. They, their prices are, they have very big discounted sales. Coach Outlet, you get really, really inexpensive items. Inexpensive. Like this, that was originally $150 and it was $35. So I'm not sure why Coach is doing that. Oh, they didn't even take off the uh, Magnetica, uh, you know, that uh, alarm thing. I'm not sure why Coach has become a company, maybe if you guys know, like why Coach has become a company that chose to bring their products really way down through outlet or what, whatever it is they're doing, you know, why? Why did they choose to do that? Because I think, you know, for those that only buy luxury, you know, some bag snobs out there, Yoda, <laughs> Um, they won't buy Coach anymore because they feel that it's too accessible and everybody has it. I don't, I don't really feel that way. I could be a bag snob, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but if I'm gonna get something at a good price that's good quality, it's that Safiano kind of leather, so I, I don't, you know, I assume it's leather. It does have a slip pocket, it's hard to tell because it's dark inside. It's a very, you know, a good size, definitely for cosmetics. Um, it's really nice and it's really what I was looking for and did I need to spend 400 I'm not gonna you know honestly if the studs on the Christian Louboutin makeup case were normal size I would have kept it I would have kept it because I loved it I did love it um, it, just, it was a little weird please go check that video out because it, it was really a weird cosmetic case and you know it was either you're gonna love it or you're gonna hate it I loved it but I knew that if I put it in my bag it's gonna either take up too much space because the studs were so huge um, you know the profile they, it was huge so I, I just felt like the studs were gonna get scratched or they were gonna scratch something so 
I decided to go with this. Actually, I ordered this around the same time. I said, let me see which one, you know, I mean, th at this price for $35, you're gonna find use out of it. So, you know, check out the site, see if they still have it if you're interested. It's a great cosmetic case. It definitely would hold, you know, I don't know, what, what would it hold? Just for, uh, just for the heck of it, here's an eyeglass case, right? I'm just gonna see if, it, if the eyeglass case goes in. No, it actually doesn't. It's a little bit numb. It doesn't go down the eyeglass case, but that's a full eyeglass case. It's not something you're going to put in a cosmetic bag. I was just doing that to show you the size. But, um, I don't know. He has my whole hand in there, but everyone knows I have a tiny hand. So, anyway, so this is my new Coach Cosmetic Cosmetics um, pouch. I don't know if I'm going to use it for cosmetics, but I will definitely use this for something. I will definitely use this for something. It has a little uh, pull thing, which is good because when you close the zipper, it makes it easier to hold something when you're going to open it. So that's good. It has the pull, pull things on either on both sides. So there you have it. So let me show you uh, jewelry of the day. I am wearing my Louis Vuitton. Uh, top handle from my trunk papillon you know all these names I just can't I just can't do it I just can't do it from where I'm from New York I just can't do these names anyway from my trunk bag this is the chain I wear it all the time and if you saw um, my previous video on the uh, Louis Vuitton little bitsy pouch that I just recently bought when I was in Manhattan well I actually saw it in Manhattan and I had it, you know, I ordered it from home because they didn't have, I don't know what the reason was. It was either that one was used or I wasn't sure if I wanted it. In any case, that has a chain also on it, but it's thinner than this. So, you know, I get a lot of use out of this chain. I love it. Look at it. It's really beautiful. And I'm wearing my Lagos. This was also a fabulous deal that I got in TJ Maxx. Really a fabulous deal. It was like like 70% off. And if you know Lagos jewelry, if you know that I got this for under $300, this particular ring, it was like 70% off. Just wearing one of my uh, Movado watches. And I have my dangle earrings because I was wearing gold today. So I'm wearing my dangle little studs. They were studs. They were 25 point studs that my father got me for my um, 16th birthday, my sweet 16, and I changed them into a dangle just because I have other stud earrings that my husband bought me. I wear those pretty much every day, but I just wanted something a little different. So any case, that's the jewelry of the day. I was wearing my Dolce and Gabbana denim Beatrice tote for like a week straight, and I changed today into this, um, my Louis Vuitton uh, Speedy 30, which I use for work. And I had this in there because I used this today when I ran out to the post office. If you guys have been following me, you know I have a handful of micro bags. This is one of them. It's a Valentino in the Poudre that I purchased on Fashion File a while back. And this is the inside. It's absolutely gorgeous. It has two card holders and a crossbody. And it holds the cards. It holds my keys. It holds a little mini hand sanitizer. Um, what more do you need if you're running out just to do an errand or two like from my office so I put this right in the dust bag into my large bag and I do that with a lot of my micro bags so when I run out from work if I'm just running to get something to eat or running to the bank or the post office whatever I don't have to carry a big bag because I bring big bags to work so anyway so that's this thing which I absolutely love love it great purchase no regrets so there you have it guys i hope you enjoyed my unboxing i hope you enjoyed seeing this new coach cosmetic bag if you're interested check out the uh coach outlet i don't know if it's still available <coughs> yeah my throat itches my eyes are sticky and my throat itches the last two days from what's going on out here it's just ridiculous but anyway so have a great week, and I will see you next weekend with another unboxing. Again, if you didn't see my video from yesterday, my collab with my friends, Yoda, Winnie, Eva, and Dawn, check that out. Check out my Christian Louboutin 
um, cosmetics bag unboxing. Let me know what you think of that. If you think that this was a much better, um, you know, purchase. And that's really it. I hope everyone has a great Sunday and I will see you soon. Bye.